Alcohol can be quite toxic to the liver and can cause significant liver problems. When alcohol use um, is at high levels for a long period of time, you can develop fat in the liver as well as scarring and inflammation of the liver. Uh, when that continues to progress, you can develop liver cirrhosis, which means advanced scarring of the liver. In patients who have liver cirrhosis, there is a risk of liver failure as well as development of liver cancer. 8 to 10 percent of the U.S. population is thought to be considered heavy drinkers, as defined by too much alcohol use. Of those, approximately 10 to 15 percent likely will go on to develop chronic liver disease, including liver cirrhosis. So complications of alcohol-related liver disease uh, could include a disease called acute alcoholic hepatitis, which is actually not cirrhosis, but it is a cause of liver failure as a result of a large amount of inflammation in the liver from heavy drinking. It may be hard to know if you're at risk for liver damage from drinking. Best idea would be to meet with your physician and get some blood tests as well as a physical examination which may show signs of alcoholic liver disease that you may not notice on yourself. When someone develops chronic liver disease or cirrhosis as a result of heavy drinking, there are not many treatment options to offer. When someone develops liver failure as a result of heavy drinking, they need to be considered for liver transplant, which currently is the only treatment available to cure a sick liver. When there's damage to the liver as a result of heavy drinking, uh, if the intervention can happen soon enough, the liver can repair itself. The fat buildup, the inflammation, and the scarring can be reversible when alcohol use is stopped early.